Well, good morning to you. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my living room today recording this post. I've uh, taken the opportunity to get out early in the morning in Jeffreys Bay and take a nice stroll on the beach. And uh, I thought it'd be a nice location to actually do a post uh, from my, my uh, Facebook page with a little help. I hope you're finding this page helpful. I'm just trying to share some uh, things that I'm learning along the way on my own journey. And uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that uh, for those of you that can connect with it, that God really speaks to you and encourage you in your life. And I want to talk to you today. I'm about to get attacked by a wave. <laughs> I want to talk to you today um, about upgrades. I'm a big fan of upgrades. Eh? Um, I've got an iPhone, I've got an iPad, and I consider myself truly blessed to have them. I know not everyone can, can have one uh, such devices, but uh, yeah, by God's grace, I've got them. Anyway, um, the point I'm trying to make is Apple, they, they do this upgrade thing. Every, every year they upgrade their operating system and they bring out new features and uh, yeah, they tweak things to make things work better on the phone and on the iPad and so on and so forth. And I really love the upgrades, eh? Um, my devices are a bit ancient now, to be honest with you. I haven't been able to keep up with the latest devices. So um, having the upgrade in the operating system each year kind of makes me feel like I've got a new phone or a new iPad. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and they do it every year. But I'm a little bit of an impatient uh, upgrader, so to speak, in that uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a nerd with all of these things, I'll be honest with you. Um, they, I can't wait for the general release, you know. They generally bring it out sometime in September. But uh, I'm a little bit impatient, so what I tend to do is once they start with all the beta versions, I'll let a few of the beaters go, uh, and then when it's a bit stable, I, uh, I upgrade my phone with the beta versions, so I can get all the new, uh, new upgrades and, uh, and new uh, features and stuff that come with the new operating system. Uh, as I say, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to all this stuff, but I just love upgrades. Uh, so why am I talking to you about upgrades today? Well, I'm not trying to do an, ad an advert for Apple. I think they're quite successful enough in this world. They don't need my assistance. But um, I want to think about upgrades in terms of our lives, you know. Um, I like upgrades, but I like upgrades to, with more than just devices. Uh, and and I, I experienced an upgrade when I put my faith and trust in Jesus. Uh, my life was obviously upgraded, uh, but not just because yeah, I was forgiven for the things I'd done wrong in my life. Uh, my life was upgraded. God set me free from drugs. That's a massive thing in my life. But also, God blessed me with um, having a relationship with my Heavenly Father. I just want to read a verse to you just to kind of lay the foundation um, for this thinking on this upgrade that God has given me. It's uh, from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, and it says, See what great love the Father has given us that uh, we should be called God's children. See what great love the Father has given us that we should be called God's children. And we are. We are God's children. Uh, and that's a massive thing for me. That's a massive upgrade in my life. Uh, for those of you who know me, I've got a bit of an estranged relationship with my biological father. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I've got no contact with him. He's decided to kind of end the contact with me. Uh, long story, I'll get into it on another day, but uh, I miss having a father figure in my life, yeah? I, I'm, I'm a man, uh, and I think as, as men, we, we kind of need those figures in our lives, you know? People that we can turn to for advice, and people that we can learn from, and so on and so forth. And I miss having that kind of figure in my life. Um, and when I, when I put my faith and trust in Jesus, the upgrade that I got was I got a heavenly father, yeah? I might not have a biological father that I can turn to, but I've got a heavenly father. And, and it might sound a bit confusing, oh God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Father, it's a free God. It doesn't, doesn't really work like that. We're talking about one God, um, but he just shows himself in three persons. So the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the, the Son of God, and uh, Father God. Um, so for me, my upgrade was to realize that I have a heavenly father that loves me that wants me, that is there for me, that is providing for me, that is protecting me, and uh, so on and so forth. You can read the scriptures. Uh, my Heavenly Father is my, uh, my shield. He's my shepherd. He comes to look for me when I'm lost, and so on and so forth. He's my provider, and so on and so forth. So that's a massive upgrade in my life. 
And one of the beautiful things about it is, you know, I make mistakes in life, and don't we all? Um, the kind of love that my father has for me, it's, it's an unconditional love. It's not, you know, I, I don't have to earn it. It's not that I have to get everything right in life and then he's gonna, he's gonna love me. A bit like my biological father, I've got to do everything uh, right and according to his eyes and then he, he'll accept me and love me. Uh, with my heavenly father, it's, yeah, it's about having a relationship with him. I'm a work in progress and he loves me unconditionally. And yeah, I make mistakes, but all that stuff's been paid for on the cross. Uh, so I can really know uh, the Father's love in my life. And that's a massive upgrade for me. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something for me. But I want to ask you, what would, what would be an upgrade in your thinking? An upgrade in my thinking is that I know I'm unconditionally loved by my Heavenly Father. What would be an upgrade for you? What would an upgrade look like for you? Maybe, uh, maybe you've kind of had a lot of negative words spoken over your life and you need to hear uh, God's word for you and, and God's love for you and the things that he thinks of you. Maybe um, spending some time in the scriptures and in the Psalms and places like that where you hear God speak, that would be an upgrade for you. Yeah, all that negative stuff that's been spoken over your life, it's not true. Um, our Father God, he's the only one that's speaking truth over your life in that sense. So I encourage you to delve into the scriptures and see what God says about your life. Uh, maybe you've been going through life and You've just been plodding along and you don't really feel like you've been going anywhere. God's word says to us, and this is an upgrade for you, God's word says to us that we, he has a plan and purpose for our lives, that we're not an accident. Uh, we didn't just come into this world by accident. He planned for us to be alive today and he has a plan and purpose for your life. So I want to encourage you to, to think about upgrades, not just upgrades on phones, but upgrades in life. And what does an upgrade look like for you and how can you go after your upgrades. I had to go after my upgrades, I had to put my faith and trust in Jesus. So how can you go after your upgrade? Anyway guys, it's been really good talking to you today. Uh, I'm loving being on the beach. I'm sure you're going to get more posts like this. And uh, yeah, I look forward to connecting with you again soon. God bless you guys.